Hi everybody, welcome back to the Chan Chans. Uh, 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 uh. So, today we are going to be playing Pop Tropica. It is a part of a video series I do where I play games from my childhood. So the last time I did this video, it didn't get a whole bunch of views, but I actually love, like, gaming. So I'm definitely gonna keep at this until, like, it pops or whatever. First off, I want to start by saying thank you to everyone who subscribed. So since my last couple of videos, I've gotten a whole bunch of new subscribers, and I really appreciate it. I've gotten a whole bunch of comments. I love answering you guys' comments, so feel free to comment. I've been hearting comments, been liking, or been loving them. Definitely appreciate all the support. We are on track to hit 50 by the end of the month, so I think I went up from about 27, and now we're sitting at, like, I think 45 or 40-ish, and I'm so excited for that because I love seeing the growth, and I love seeing, like, all the positivity, which is absolutely great. So, I'm just gonna game, I'm gonna play this game, I'm gonna play Pop Tropica. If you don't remember Pop Tropica, you need to get on that. I used to love playing it in computer lab when I was supposed to be working and learning and doing my, like, little, little learning modules. I'd always hop on Pop Tropica when the teacher wasn't looking and play my little Pop Tropica. So, let's start recording this really quick. And then, doing that, we're just gonna talk about topics. So let's travel. Yeah, this looks a lot different than when I was a kid. There's got a whole lot. Of, there's like a whole bunch of extra stuff. There's um ads in there. I don't. I don't remember ads being in here. But so oh, there's a lot of these. Yeah, they have a lot. There's a lot. There's a whole lot more than I'm used to. So I looked at this one for a little bit, but uh-uh, we're not going to do that. I'm going to do one that I actually kind of remember. That's the carrot one. I'm going to play 24 carat. So it's going to low difficulty because, you know, not ready for all that. Not ready to be stressed out behind a video game. So we are on Carrot Island. Let's begin. Let's start with the diner. So, I know, I remember this one. It's like kids were disappearing, so you basically gotta go find the kids. So, this one I remember being, like, extremely fun. I'm gonna head into the diner. Ask your question. So, I'm not gonna talk about the game throughout the whole video. I'm gonna go and talk about topics. So, the first topic I wanna talk about is hate. So, really haven't gotten any hate on the internet. And I'm really surprised because... It's the internet, you know, cyberbullying, you know, that's the thing. So I actually really haven't gotten any hate. I've gotten constructive criticism, but nobody's really said anything mean to me. And I'm actually really surprised because, once again, it's the internet. And it's like the breeding ground for negativity. So I'm really surprised. So I'm really surprised that I haven't gotten any hate at all, which is lovely though. Like, everybody's been really positive, I've been loving comments, I've been hearting them. I haven't had to like, be like, you need to chill before you get blocked, which is actually really great. So if I remember this part correctly, the drinks change your hair color. Let's do... Oh, oh, okay, let's talk about colors. If you mix two different colors together, you get a new color. I don't know if, like, anybody knew that, but, like, that's a thing. I don't know how old my watchers are, but, you know, that's a thing. So I'm, like, trying to make a light purple, because, ah, oh, perfect. This is my favorite color. This lilac light purple color. Ah, oh, she's so cute. So, so cute. I love this. So, yeah, it changed my hair color from black to light purple. We stand. It's almost matching my shirt, but not really. My shirt on the game. It's almost matching the little sweater I put on my Avi. What? Let's ask what's going on. So I haven't really gotten any hate, which is great. Now let's talk about like upcoming plans that I have for my channel. So, oops. I'm definitely going to. My bad, y'all. I knocked out the light. There we go. I'm definitely going to do more vlogs, because I actually really like vlogging, but I'm trying to get better at it. 
And then, so that's gonna be a thing. And I've got some events that's coming up that I'm going to, so I'm definitely gonna vlog at those events. Because I want y'all to get, like, more used to my personality and, like, get to know me a little bit better. And then also, I'm definitely going to react to more Cupcake. Everybody's been asking me, are you reacting to more Cupcake? Are you going to react to more Cupcake? Definitely going to react to more Cupcake. I'm excited to do that. Uh, I have my post notifications on for her music channel. And I have her on Instagram. So that's my private Instagram, though, not my public Instagram. I have her on Instagram. Because that's where I do most of the... We're not going to connect with other players. That's where I do most of my liking and hearting and like being interactive on right now because my regular, my business Instagram isn't jumping like that. I think I got like six followers. So I mean, you guys can follow me if you want to. That'd be great. But it's really not popping like that. So I got to wait, wait that out a little bit. Looks like she lost her cat. Let's ask about that. I just skipped to the end because, you know. But definitely going to react to more Cupcake. Let's see what we got. Oh, music. So if y'all don't know how copyright works, I can't play other people's music or I get copyrighted, which is great. I mean, you know, I just got to make that coin, but like not that great. So I know y'all have heard my intro and it's just like me like... <laughs> singing like making noise or whatever because I'm not trying to get copyrighted behind using somebody else's music I've already gotten like I don't know what that thing is but I reacted to Uzi and that video did horrible and I had to go through so much to even keep that up I had to change like the pitch and all that because like they have a choice where they can take your video down or they will just let you keep it up but you won't make any money off of it or something like that so they actually like pulled my video and I was like, dang, dang. But I really like music or like channels that have like actual songs for an intro, whether it's their song or like somebody else's song. We're not gonna do that. I really like that. So I'm definitely gonna have to make my own music because YouTube ain't letting me get by. I already know YouTube's gonna be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, you can't do it. And I mean, I get it, you know. I get it. So, other hot topics. Let's see what's going on with the news. So, basically, uh, Olivia Jade is back. So, if y'all don't know, that's, that was a college scandal that happened where basically her mom, well, you know what? I'm really not trying to get sued. So, her mom allegedly, allegedly, her mom allegedly bought her way into college yeah we don't stand at all like not cute but her mom allegedly bought her way into college and uh, she was a youtuber she basically made statements saying that she didn't really care about college at all and that college really wasn't important to her come to find out that her mom bought her way in so that pretty much clarifies that but she basically is back I don't I'm not sure if she's back making videos or what else is going on with that but she's just kind of, she's around now. She broke her silence, basically. So, you know, I mean, I don't have much else to say about that, but I just found that interesting. Comment how y'all feel about that, because, I mean, I knew that she was going to come back eventually. I had a feeling that she was just going to, like, try to wait till it all died down and then try to, like, get back to where she was before and like continue her YouTube career understandable but um what her mom I don't think what her mom did was acceptable at all can't relate don't ever want to definitely if I ever end up having kids not gonna be that type of mom cause uh that's just that's pretty pretty freaking lazy but, in all honesty, I do understand why she did it. But I've been trying to keep up with that situation. I'm not sure what's going on with the trial or the case or if she's getting jail time. Like, if her mom's getting jail time. And I am a full house stan. 
and I was roasted for liking Full House all growing up, but I really love Full House, so it's kind of sad to me. It's kind of a childhood ruiner when you see, or when I heard about what happened, and when you see how this is all going down, and how, it not, how it's going to play out pretty bad. Alright, we're going into this house. <laughs> I was just sitting in the chimney, that's weird. Oh, so we gotta get the cat. That lady's cat in the tool shop. We gotta go get her cat. But, so that kind of sucks. I don't... I think the cat's in here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, come here. Come back. Come back. So I can't pick it up, obviously. Let me go turn this uh, dirty water off, you know? Gotta save that. Gotta save that utility bill. Uh, let's see. No. It's not turning off. What the heck? This thing broken. Oh no, I clicked it too many times. Yeah, th this water ain't turning off. So I'm pretty sure I gotta go get him that milk from that restaurant. I think I remember that. I, I remember most of this, actually. It's still fun, though. It's like The Sims. I love The Sims. If you love The Sims, comment down below, because I'm obsessed with The Sims. Like, Sims is definitely my thing. And if I could play The Sims, I would play it. But The Sims is on my old laptop, and that laptop is so boring. Because, honestly, I think it has to do with the custom content. I have loads and loads of custom content, and all it does is slow my game down. And OBS won't even record on it, so I'm just like, there's, there's no point. There's no point at all trying to get that to work. Like, I tried a few times, and I was so frustrated. Let's get this milk. Yeah, let's get this milk. So I was definitely, I was so frustrated, because I have, like, really, really good families, and I use, like, a good amount of custom content on them, so they look, like, really realistic. Okay, let's go give this to the cat. So I was so upset when I realized that I couldn't post sim-related content, because, like, Sims is my thing. That's the one game I'll mess with heavy, and I'll pay the expensive price for. Because other games, like, I don't I don't be like that with other games, but Sims is that one game. Sims is that one game that I will, like, drop, like, 40, 60 bucks on for, like, a couple of shirts and a hat. Because, honestly, no shade to EA, no shade to The Sims, but... Sometimes the packs they release... Oh, 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 she put down the milk. Okay, the cat's coming. Sometimes the packs they release don't even have that much stuff in it. Like, the stuff packs and, like, the game packs don't even have that much stuff in it. But, you know, they be charging a lot. Where's the cat at? Are you serious? I think I'm about to go get him. So I hate spending money on that. Alright, a little... Say this in the video. Oh, oh, he's going, he's going. Yes, yes, get that milk. Yes, all right, save that utility bill. Nope, still not gonna work. All right, okay, get the cat, get the cat, get the cat. Follow me. Oh, good, 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 it worked. So, what else has been going on? Liam Hemsworth and Miley Cyrus broke up. Actually pretty sad, but I'm not that surprised. Honestly, I'm not really surprised. I don't really be surprised when couples break up, to be honest. Because, um, they just, that's just life. That's honestly just life. Let's go give her her cat back. Yeah, not really surprised about that. Uh, according to the like, according to the news, she hooked up with somebody else, and so that was a thing. But I have a feeling they were broken up before that. But you know, I'm not sure. Ooh, what did I get? Oh, I got a crowbar. So I think I take that crow. Yeah, I gotta open something with that crowbar. I think it's that little warehouse shed thingy. I'm surprised I remember all of this. I feel like I played this one a lot specifically because this was the one that I could actually like sort of kind of beat because the other ones were too hard so I definitely remember this one like a lot. But she was hooking up with somebody else and then they split or they split before that. I don't know the order of events but not really that surprised. 
I mean, pretends to be shocked. Not really that surprised at all. I'm never really surprised when couples break up, honestly. There's only a few times that I've been like, oh, dang, they were so cute, or dang, they were like, I was expecting them to make it, but you know. It's Hollywood, you know. Nobody's safe in the game, you know. Everybody be breaking up nowadays. Mm, is that a rat? Mm, that's not cute. Mm, what else has been going on? <laughs> Other than that, I mean, it's been pretty dry out here. Okay, my battery's low. To be honest, I'm just waiting for... Oh, oh, that rat hit me. I've been waiting for the next season of 13 Reasons Why. That's what's been going on. I'm gonna take a break real quick. I'll be right back. So, to be honest, like I said, I'm waiting for this next season of 13 Reasons Why. So I did watch, uh, what is that? Orange is the New Black? That was so good. Ooh, I keep falling. I know this part is going to take me forever. This is the part I really could not get past as a kid. Ooh. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. Finally made it past. So, I'm definitely waiting for... There's two reasons why. I already watched Orange is the New Black, and that finale, ooh, that hurt me. That hurt me a lot. See, the finale was almost perfect, but some things really, like, made me sad. So, if you, didn't, if you haven't watched Orange is the New Black, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but the finale was literally so close to perfect. There were some things I wanted to happen that didn't happen, but I'm not going to talk much about it because... I know not everybody has watched it, and I'm not trying to be that chick that ruins it for everybody, because, uh, that's not cute. But, also, we're getting Searching Reasons Why, which is gonna be fire, I already know. Hope that, so there's a whole bunch of plot points in 13 Reasons Why. Ooh, ooh, turn the lights on, great. There's a whole bunch of plot points and 13 reasons why that is fun to hit. Because I'm excited for... to see what happens. There's like so much stuff that's gonna go on during the season. What happened with Tyler? What's going on with, uh... Clay and Justin? So, I get... Last season, we found out that the Jensen's wanted to ad adopt Justin. I completely forgot about that until like I watched a video that like talked about all the plot points that need to be brought up in this new season. So um, they definitely don't like each other. So that uh, brother situation is gonna be interesting. We gotta figure out what's gonna happen with Chloe and that baby because last time we checked, she was impregnated with Bryce's baby. So that's not cute. And did he her too. Oh, can we not say the R word on YouTube? I mean, probably not. He assaulted her, which is not, like, no, not cute, not it. So, like, and then she's pregnant from him. It's just, ooh, that's just, that ain't cute. I gotta figure out how to get up here. Okay, so this is just, this, it's a lot. It's a lot that's gonna happen this season. We gotta figure out what happens with Jessica. Completely fell with Jessica, and oh my god, I'm absolutely like really here for uh, what's his name? Dang it, I messed this up. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Well, that's gonna be the end of the live stream because, um, oh wait, that's gonna be the end of the video because, uh, definitely accidentally clicked the wrong button but you know it'd be like that so i gotta figure out what's gonna go on with what's his name alex 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 and jessica i so want to know what's gonna happen with them like they were together and they're at the dance and then she like 
busted open for Justin. I'm like, ugh. Like, I was hoping that she was gonna, like, they're, like, addicted to, to each other. Can somebody explain this to me? Why do dysfunctional people, like, never break up? It's like an addiction. Like, I swear, you know somebody's bad for you, but you stay with them, so. I think they have that thing where, like, they have a horrible relationship, but, like, they're tethered to each other, or, like, they're intertwined through trauma or something like that. It's like a, it's like some kind of social, sociological, sociological, uh, physical, uh, I don't know. It's one of those, uh, therapy words where you're like, tra oh, trauma bonding. I think they're trauma bonded to each other for all of the crap that happened, so they're gonna, so they're like, she's absolutely obsessed with him, he's obsessed with her. And then... Poor Alex, because I actually liked her and Alex. To me, Alex is really sweet. And I really love him and his personality. He seems so, so sweet. So I want to find out what happens with that. I want to find out what happens with Tony and his man, Tony and Caleb. See if they stay together. Or, like, if they break up. Hopefully they can get it together. Because I really, really stand them. Like, so cute. And then... We're going to find out what happens with that baby. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's definitely a lot. And that's a lot of pressure because she's like a teenager. So I'm like, how is she going to cope with all this? If she's having a... Well, her baby daddy is dead, one. Two, uh, he assaulted her. Uh, three, he is an assaulter. Because I'm not going to say the actual word because YouTube is probably going to take this video down. But he is a person who assaults other people. And that's not cute. She just got so much to think about. And the way his mom was like, somebody tell me what happened to my son. And the way they looked at each other, like, they all know who did it. But, like, they're not going to say anything. Because, I mean, it's Bryce Walker. Like, they don't owe him anything. He's kind of out here ruining everybody's life. So, definitely, that's definitely a thing. Uh, who else do we have that we didn't... What was that girl's name who was friends with Jessica on the cheer team? Y'all know who I'm talking about. She's the one who uh, burned the Polaroids, the Polaroid pictures from season two. Her, like, there was a debate going on online. Like, everybody was like, oh, I get why she did it. Because, like, she wanted to hide and make sure that, he, like, she wasn't attached to the situation at all. So that's why she burned them. But when I was watching, I was like, no, don't burn them. Because it takes away from the other victims to, like, if they want to try to prosecute or anything like that, it, it's too late. It's too late. But everybody was like, oh, I get why she did it, but at the same time, I didn't. And that's kind of how I feel about it. Like, I sympathize with her. I definitely get why she did it, but then I, it kind of sucks that she got to, well, that she took away the opportunity for other victims to, like, prosecute their case if they wanted to, or, like, stand up for themselves or take it to court if they wanted to. So that kind of sucks. But, um... That, that really hurts. And then, in season two, it really pissed me off when Bryce didn't get any consequences. But honestly, what were we expecting? But just based off Bryce, his family, like, and everything, we were honestly expecting that to happen. For him to not get consequences. Because it just be like that. It just, that just happens. And it really sucks, too. Because he definitely deserved consequences. But they were like... They just gave him a little slap on the wrist. But, mm, it's gonna be a whole, a whole, it's gonna be a whole production. Wanna find out what happens with Clay? Oh, I completely forgot about Clay and that other girl. What is her name? Sky. Clay and Sky. I want you guys to comment below. Now, this is the time. This is when it's gonna get serious. Do you guys care, or did you even like Clay and Sky's relationship? Am I the only one who thought it was, like, weird? Like, it was so forced. Because, like, he was missing Hannah. I really feel like he shouldn't have been with Sky. He was using Sky to get over Hannah. But it didn't work at all. And I feel like he did some damage to her by doing that. Like, what's that quote? Hurt people hurt people. So I definitely feel like he should have just... Just left Sky alone and just dealt with his own issues. But she was definitely, like, really helpful to him and trying to help him move on for, like, a little bit. And then she got frustrated. So I get both things. And uh, that scene, there was, there was a few scenes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. In season two that I, like, really didn't care for. But that scene when they were going to engage in some, you know, activities. Some, like, a little romantic activity. And, like, he was just like, nope. 
the, like his body wasn't responding correctly. It was just it just kind of felt kind of cringy. I was like, ooh, ooh. Like I, I was I feel like a fly in the wall to that, and I was just like, this is not cute. Okay, but it was just a little bit awkward. But honestly, I'm not one of these people who are gonna be like, well, they shouldn't have put it in there. I chose to watch it, so I could have fast forward through it. So, in conclusion, great show. Really excited to see what they're going to do with this next season. Excited to see what they're going to do with a lot of these characters. Hopefully they develop. Definitely want to know what happens with Tyler also. Hopefully he tries to... Hopefully he does what's comfortable. Because I know that he's traumatized. So maybe him prosecuting the case isn't the best idea. If it's going to like mess him up. Maybe he just needs some time. Maybe he will. I'm really not sure what he's going to do what's gonna happen with him but I just really hope that he's okay because he's one of the characters that he deserves so much better let's be honest he deserves so much better and I feel for him I feel for him a lot anyways thank you for watching the video like and subscribe uh, share this video comment down below about any topic I talked about and how you feel about it because this is definitely a hot topics video along with this little uh, gaming session Feel free to comment, 13 Reasons Why, um, Miley, the Miley situation, uh, Olivia Jade. It really hasn't been a great year for influencers so far. This year and last year was some big toughies for influencers, so comment how you feel about that. Um, comment how you feel about my future plans, mm -hmm. something. Give me a little bit of constructive criticism. Give me a little bit of constructive yeah. criticism about what I could do in the future to make this a better channel. I'm definitely all ears. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all and bye. bye.